probability of picking two cards dependent event so let me first tell you what a deck of card is it is made up of 52 cards and there are four suits hearts diamonds clubs and spades hearts and diamonds are red right so hearts you see the heart figure in it and the diamonds you will see the diamond on a card right and in clubs and spades they are black not red and clubs is will look like this and spades will look like this right so that is how they normally look on a card right so that is spades and this is clubs like a flower so that is how they are there are four suits one is hearts diamonds clubs and spades and there are 13 of each kind that makes it 52 right so that is I, I should write here 13 times 4 that is equals to 52 it is a very important number to remember 13 times 4 and it helps you to simplify fractions when you're talking about cards now then there are 13 cards of each suit and the cards are normally you'll have find these numbers on the cards ace instead of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we have jack queen and king these are picture cards right so there are three picture cards so in all four of each kind four of hearts four diamonds four clubs and four of spades so if i say how many picture cards are there there'll be four times three 12 picture cards in a deck of 52 so remember that part now here is a question for us what is the probability of drawing an ace followed by another ace okay so so we are drawing two cards at a time so earlier examples we were dealing with just drawing one card and now we are drawing two cards at a time so i should not say at a time two cards one at a time so what is the probability of drawing an ace followed by another ace so one card at a time so once you for, uh, draw a card you don't replace it that is what it is so let me add the word without replacement It's kind of important to mention it, right? So that there is no doubt about it, right? So what is the probability of drawing an ace followed by another ace without replacement? So that is what we need to figure out. Now, how many aces are there in a deck of cards? There's one of each kind. One hearts, one ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, and ace of spades. So there are, so I'll say, what is the probability of getting an ace? It is 4 out of 52, correct? Since there are total 52 cards in the deck and 4 of them are aces, correct? So that is the first probability, probability of drawing an ace. Now what is the probability of drawing another ace? So subsequent draw without replacement. So we are saying what is the probability of getting ace again? So that probability should be product of the first probability into the other so that is we'll figure that out so first let's find out what is the probability of getting another ace so probability of getting the next ace in subsequent draw should be how much so as you can see we have drawn one card so in the deck we don't have now 52 cards how many cards are there now 52 minus one so we have a total of 51 cards and how about the number of aces since we have drawn one here, we are left with 3. So it is 3 over 51. Correct? So that is how it changes. And that is what we are calling about is dependent events. So this if event is really dependent on the previous one. If we have already drawn an ace, we are left with only 3 aces. right? Since we have already drawn a card, we are left with one less card. So the second probability of the event is dependent on the first so that is what we're trying to consider here that is the scenario then the question is what is the probability of getting ace after ace right that is what the question is it is product of these two so it is equals to 4 over 52 times 3 over 51 so that is our answer right that is our answer now, as I said, it's important to know that 13 times 4 is 52. So that helps you to simplify this, right? 
So we can write down our answer now and that is probability of getting A's and then again A's where we are not doing replacement is equals to 4 over 52 will go 13 times, right? So we can say 1 over 13 times 3 over 51, right? So actually 3 and 51 can also be simplified. So let me simplify this. So 3 will go how many times? 3 times 1 is 3, 21, 17 times, right? So we get 1 over 13 times 17 as our answer. So this is equals to 221. So 1 over 221 is our answer in this particular case. I hope you understand and appreciate how we have done this, right? Now, you can try a question on your own. And that is, try to find probability of drawing... Uh, let's say we are drawing two cards, probability of fine drawing is followed by any other card but not is. Okay, so that is your question. Your question is, what is the probability of drawing an is followed by another card but not is? Okay, so try to do this question and then move on to the next video, which is kind of similar to what we are talking about. Right, in this set of series, we have questions related to drawing one card, drawing two cards, and drawing three cards, right? So it's a very interesting set. Go through it, and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.